Let's walk through this ad and they can skip all the dialogues and save your spreadsheet straight to the desktop. Thanks for watching. As always, you can download this add in with all the source code from the website in the description. After you download and install the add in, you'll see an add ins tab appear and you'll be able to see a button there that says save the desktop. This is the button that will save the active workbook to your desktop. I'd recommend just right clicking it and pinning it to your QAT, which is also known as the quick access toolbar. And then from there, you'll just have access to it uh, all the time. And if you right click it when it's in the QAT, you can choose customize uh, the QAT and then position it where you want to with the other items there. And I'd recommend hiding the add ins tab while you're there. So that you don't need that anymore. You can just have the button in the QAT. To do an example here, let's just copy and paste all these colors into a new workbook, and then we'll go and save that to the desktop. I do this often where I might start something uh, just really quickly with some data I saw, and then want to come back to it later. But to save it, sometimes you have to go through a bunch of hoops and dialogues, and I'd rather just have a one button click for it. And so in this case, I'm just going to clean up the data a little bit, make it a bit better in the table. And I go, oh, maybe I'll come back and, and address this later. And so for me, I would normally just hit the save button and go and save it to the desktop and then uh, know to look at it later. But before we do that, let's actually dive through the code here. So we'll go ahead and set a breakpoint uh, at the start of this, which is where we actually figure out the path to the desktop. And then we'll go back to the workbook and actually hit the button and then we'll step through the code together here. The desktop's my go-to location, but you can switch just to whatever special folder you'd like. If we do this create object with special folders desktop, we get that path back. And the next thing I do is I grab the book name and just grab the active book name to see if it's an existing save book, because maybe you have an existing book and you just want to save it to the desktop, or you have something new. In this case, we have something new, so I'm looking for the extension, and there's no extension, so that means it's a, a new book. Uh, by default, I just save it to XLSX. And now I want to see if that book already exists, because maybe I'm saving a bunch of stuff to the desktop. And so I do SPath plus book plus extension, and if we go to the immediate window here, Oh, we can do a question mark with that line of code and see sort of what we get returned. In this case, we have the whole path to book one XLSX. But since it does exist, we go into the true path of this if statement. And the way I handle that is I grab the year, month, day of now and hour, minute, second, and put that into the file name so that it's a unique name for this second. And so you could hit a dupe so you see a big number there that's based on like right now and then you know a few seconds later that number is different so if you happen to hit save twice in the same second you would hit a conflict but i'm not going to do that hopefully and now i have a unique name to save with and then i just call save we can verify by looking at the title bar that it is saved to that location with that name and that's it a quick and single click way to save your spreadsheet to the desktop go to the website to download and customize the code and i'll see you in the next one